Let's take this differential equation and determine whether this is an exact or not. Because if we are going to solve for this differential equation using the concepts of exact and non-exact differential equation, there are two different methods that we need to really consider one for exact and one for non-exact. Therefore, it's very important to start in determining whether this differential equation is an exact or non-exact. We can start by, of course, writing our equation in this form, m of xy dx plus n of xy dy equal to zero. Luckily, our equation is already in that form. Hence, we can identify the correct m of xy function and n of xy function. Our m of xy function is the function written as a product with dx. So that would mean this is that function. You have 6xy. For our n of xy, we will be taking this function as that is a function multiplied to dy. So you will have here 4y plus 9x squared. Now that we are sure with these two functions to determine whether this is an exact differential equation or not, we will need to establish the partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. And if we could, if we could establish this, then we can say that the differential equation given is an exact DE. But if it's not, then it's a non-exact differential equation. So let's start with the partial derivative of m with respect to y. When you say with respect to y, y is our independent variable. Hence, we are going to treat other variables as part of the constant. For m here, we have 6xy. We have another variable x. That would mean together with 6, 6x is now the constant. Not just 6, but x will be part of that. Hence, the first partial derivative of that is when we take this is a constant with our variable y. And of course, if we have a numerical coefficient together with a variable on the first degree, we can have the same numerical coefficient as our result. So you have 6x here. Now for our partial derivative of n with respect to x, it is now x, which is the independent variable. So we are going to treat this term with y as a constant. And if we are going to take the first derivative of a constant, now considered to be 4y, it's equal to 0. Plus, the derivative of the second term, since it has only x variable, simply take its first order derivative, that's 9 times 2, you will have 18x, 2 minus 1, or x. Therefore, this is equal to 18x. Now, we are now sure, based on our computation, that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x because 6x is not equal to 18x. This was not established and therefore we can say that our differential equation given here is not an exact differential equation. And hence, we'll be using a separate method in solving for this different from the process involving exact differential equation. We'll have that on the separate video. Thank you very much for watching.